That's okay. Um, here's another question. By the way, none of this was rehearsed. I'm just thinking of questions which tend to make the best episodes. Um, speaking of me asking if you want to go on a date with Mauricio, you and I made some press recently. You were on this podcast like a year ago. You it somehow came up that you know PK used to come into the club and spend a million dollars a night, and you did date PK. Well, now they are saying. They are saying that they're taking pictures of him all over L.A., right down the street from me without the wedding ring. And rumor is he's been living at, I heard the Four Seasons, someone else told me a different hotel, that he's been living at a hotel. And this is how it all started with Kyle and Mauricio. Now, mind you, I heard stories about Mauricio diddling and daddling for years, personally, on the streets of Beverly I don't know Hills. that I believe that. I think they're too well known for him to, to have comfortably been someone who could diddle and daddled could yeah could diddle and daddle i don't think that's true he, he's probably out and about he's probably taking out clients mm -hmm. and being social i don't think he's ever crossed the line i could be completely wrong it would be stupid of him too so that's why i'm saying that i mean it would be so uh crossing boundaries that like are too obvious it would be like how could you of all people when you know cameras are following your wife they're starting to follow you like why would you ever do that so to me that seems very far-fetched and very stupid if it did happen now regarding pk and dory which i haven't heard these rumors about pk per se at all really well don't forget pk has been in london so he's been you know. in london so let, let me say a couple of things about pk say it P pk has a history of cheating. He cheated with his first wife. It ended with up you. In, it ended up in a divorce. With you. I'm I'm not answering anything about okay. that, but he I know that he's cheated many times in the past. Okay. Okay. So but his his marriage was dissolving for many for many years, at least out of his mouth. Okay. Okay. So um, and he stayed in it for the kids. He really loves his kids, which by the way, no one ever talks about his first kids, his first set of kids. You know, he's, he's a very good dad. Do um, I even, uh, do I know he had a first set of kids? He has a first set of he kids. Do I know kids this? from his first wife? Yeah. How old? Older. I mean, I, they're now, I think all of them are in college or through college. Let's see when I dated him, his, I believe it was his youngest son was having a bar mitzvah. I'm I'm forgetting now. Do people know this? Remember. Because recently on Vanderpump Rules, Sheena Shea showed a sister. And I said, because I, I forget, this audience doesn't forget anything. And I said, since when does Sheena have a fucking sister? Maybe I'm wrong. Everyone slipped into the M's. You're not wrong. I don't remember a sister. I don't know. Does this all, do we, do we know that PK has other kids? Has that ever been talked about on Beverly Hills? I don't I think don't so. know. But Loretta was his wife, this bohemian, beautiful blonde who lives in London and she has three kids and the kids have been separated from this show a lot. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about um, the fact that he has a history. Does of he see these other kids ever? I don't, I haven't spoken to PK in 14 years. So I don't know. What Does Dorit have a relationship with these kids? I have a lot no. of questions, Rachel. I'm gonna I have, have a to lot do of questions too, but let's get back to, I think that knowing PK and also seeing from the show, I think he's irritated by her constant talk about the PTSD, yeah. which by the way, I suffer from. So I know what PTSD is, but when you say, okay, so, you know, I think it's in question whether or not the robbery happened, if it was a real robbery. Garcel now, questioned it. Pe people are now saying it was set up by PK to get, to get money. Um, insurance money. Insurance money. I don't know that PK would ever do that to his wife and his children. I think that sounds crazy. I have always said, and I think I've said this to you, I think it's nuts that someone comes in and, rob and robs someone and then agrees to leave the cell phone. Behind. That's what that's also, what Garcelle says. Also, was it found out who who is... The robbers. Can we stop for one second because my yes. dogs are having a meltdown? I'm yes. so sorry. And you are bringing, you talk about your fucking PTSD, your fucking PTSD. I have PTSD from the goddamn Bacas that used to be on this fucking podcast every fucking week. So she's talking about her PTSD. <sighs> Rachel, for everyone watching on YouTube, has gotten up to remove the Bacas. And I'm having PTSD from when those fucking yappers were here running around, driving me fucking crazy. It, 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 ugh. I'm like, 
She's giving me PTSD today. I'm going to have to ban, you know, I have dogs come and go on the show for the guests, but you just gave me PTSD. Okay, but my dogs it. are rescue dogs. And so- And they I, don't I'm smell very, like shit. I'm, no, and I'm very, they're very, le- I'm very lenient to how they okay. behave because I don't want to yell at them. Okay, so let's go back to what we were talking they about. They weren't nearly as bad as the yappas we had in the past. Go on. Okay, so- all I want to say about that is, you know, I don't believe the rumors that PK would have ever done something like that to Dory with that, without her knowledge that somebody was going to hold a gun to her head that, you know, all that stuff. I think that's crazy. Her asking a robber, can you leave the, my phone at the door so I can call someone? Why, why? In a, I mean, right. That like- would never happen because the, the robber wants to get away. They don't want someone to call 911. They don't want any, like that is insane to me. Well, my so- mind just goes to a darker place. Like if someone's leaving your house and you open your yapper, the chances of you getting a bullet through the skull of your head increases. Like if someone's walking away, you just run out of the house and go knock on the neighbor's house and wake them up at like 2 a.m. Yeah, I mean, I, I would never utter any extra words to someone that had a gun in my face. Other yeah, I'd be than, like, yes, take sir. it all. But I have a couple of questions. I've read Go that ahead. the robbers were caught and nobody's talking about it. I've read that they have never been caught. Um, so I think the whole thing is suspect. I really do. I've always thought it was suspect from the beginning. I've always said that. I feel bad saying it if it's not true, but I don't see any evidence. Like if someone came into a famous person's house like that, burglarized them, it was all on camera and they have all that stolen merchandise that's probably easy to see when it's resold i think they were caught okay well if they were caught who are they and and is this a case of what was that guy's name jesse uh small a small a smollett they beat it you know orchestrated you know a hit the the hit people and whatever and i'm i want to interview those people that were caught and find out if they were hired by someone to rob her that's what I'm thinking. Okay, we'll put that on the list for the Rachel You Could Tell Misunderstood podcast. So I, I agree. I don't, I mean, who knows if it was set up by PK, but what, you don't think this, he's, listen, I- No, he's not going to do that to his wife, have somebody no, but to his what wife's it, head. Come no, on. not that. But what do you think of this? He's, oh, I mean, around, t- I always said, I thought, Kyler Mauricio do not shock me. Divorce, bye-bye, it's over, they hate each other. Uh, Jory and PK, I really thought were well matched. I really did. So, what do you say, knowing PK, having dated PK, to the fact that he's now being photographed without a wedding ring? That's how it started with Kyla Mauricio. She denied it. Well, I will say, I just had uh, um, dinner with a friend from LA who is very in the know um, and who has been, I mean, I don't even want to go there, but okay, without. I don't want to give any details, but Mm -hmm. 